but for some reason my instinct is telling me number one Bielro but my second answer would be number three Chokum but I'm gonna go with number one Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be taking a Korean language level test. I'm going to be taking the test found on the Talk To Me In Korean website to find out where I should start studying because I've lived in Korea for a while so I know some Korean but I haven't really been studying in a classroom environment so this will be a good test to see where I should actually start studying. So wish me luck and we'll see how I do. Okay, let's start the level test. How do you say, please give me an apple in Korean? Sagwa heo, sagwa isoyo, sagwa chuseo. Must be sagwa chuseo, correct. How do you say, do you have a cup in Korean? Gong isoyo, kop isoyo, kop chulkayo. Oh, that's kop isoyo. Correct. Um, how do you say mobile phone in Korean? Handphone, hamster, <laughs> kabang. I don't know. Okay, I'll go with hand phone. Yay, that's right. How do you say thank you in Korean? Chaesong hamnida, kamsamnida, mianhe hamnida. That's easy, kamsamnida. How do you say love in Korean? Sagwa, sarang, satang. Sarang. Okay, next, how do you say I meet in Korean? Chonun dawayo, chonun manayo, chonun manayo. That must be manayo. Yes, how do you say <clears throat> I wear? How do you say I wear in Korean? Chonun ipoyo, chonun bosoyo, chonun chuayo. Mm hmm. I think that must be number one. Chonun ipoyo, ipoyo. I thought that's not, but I think the other is not either. Okay, that's correct. I was kind of guessing, but not 100% sure, but the other one, I knew it wasn't that. Uh, how do I say I get up in Korean? Chonun boryo, that's tough. Chonun ilanayo, it's that one, I know. And chonun Chonun Wayo. So the answer should be Chonun Ilo Nayo. Correct. Okay. How do you say it's delicious in Korean? Mashi Opsoyo. That's the opposite. Mashi Soyo. And Joayo. I'm gonna say number two, Mashi Soyo. Correct. How do you say I'm sorry in Korean? Chaesong hamnida, kamsamnida, chongso hamnida. Well, that's got to be number one, chaesong hamnida. Um, how do you say what do you want to do in Korean? Kongbu hago shipoyo. That means do you want to study? And yes, I want to study. Number two, mo hago shipoyo. It must be number two. And then number three, onje hago shipoyo. That means when do you want to? So I guess number two is correct, yes. 
Next question. How do I say I slept in Korean? Um, 저는 잤어요. 저는 잤어요. And 저는 자요. Well, this is a little bit tough because it's about spelling and my spelling is really bad. 저는 잤어요. I'm going to say number one, 저는 잤어요. Okay, that's correct. Number two was close, but it's 저는 잤어요 with an A. Ah. How do you say I went in Korean? 저는 가요. That means I'm go. 저는 원해요. And 저는 갔어요. Well, 갔어요 is correct. Number three. Next, how do I say, how do you say I want to go in Korean? 저는 먹고 싶어요. That means I want to eat. 저는 가고 싶어요. That means I want to go, so that must be correct. 저는 사고 싶어요. That means I want to buy it, I believe. Okay. So I was right, number two. Next, how do you say I ate in Korean? 저는 uh, 마가서요. 저는 먹었어요. 먹었어요. And 저는 먹었어요. <clears throat> wow, so this is all about spelling, um, but this one I believe is number three. 저는 먹었어요. The other one was 저는 먹었어요. And 저는 먹었어요. So that's pretty tricky for someone like me who's really bad at spelling. That's not easy. But it was number three. How do you say I am working in Korean? 저 일하고 있어요. 저 일했어요. I think that means I worked. 저 일할 거예요. That means I'm going to work. So the first one. 저 일하고 시, no, 일하고 있어요. That's correct. Next. How do you say I am eating in Korean? 저는 먹었어요. That means past tense because 어서요, so that must be not. 저는 먹고 있어요. It must be that one. 저는 먹고 거예요. So that one must be in, in the future. So the correct answer should be number two. 저는 먹고 있어요. Day. It's right. How do you say Friday? That's supposed to be gumyoyu. There's also gumsujo, gumban, gumbanji. Well, it's obviously number one, gumyoyu. Okay. How do you say I will buy it in Korean? Chonun salkoyo. That must be correct. Number two, Chonun Sayo. Number three, Chonun Sasayo. I think number three means Sasayo means I bought it. Chonun Sayo. That seems like it could be I buy it. But Salkoyo, I think, means will buy it. And that's correct. So number one was correct, Salkoyo. How do you say we will meet in Korean? Urinun manayo. That means we meet. Urinun manal koyo. That must mean we'll meet. Urinun manasoyo. That means we met. Past tense. So the correct answer should be two. Yes. Okay, I think we're doing good so far. How do you say I'm not busy at all in Korean? Okay, so. By the way, this test has little sections, and I think now we're getting into more difficult section for me. How do you say I am not busy at all? In Korean, chogum an bapayo. Chon hyo an bapayo. Mani an bapayo. 
Well, that's really tough now because they, I know on bot.io means not busy. And Shogun means a little. Mani means a lot. I'm going to go with number three, Mani on bot.io. I don't know what number two, Chon Hyo, I don't know what that means. So I'm going to go Mani on bot.io. Incorrect. It was number two. It's supposed to be Chon Hyo. And that makes sense. I didn't know that word. So I guess that's a little bit sad. But at some point, I'm going to start getting every answer wrong. And that will be my level, I guess. How do you say I'm not good at singing in Korean? Chonun no re buloyo. Chonun no re chalheo. Chonun no re ru chal moteo. Well, I know it's number three. Chal moteo means I can't sing well. Okay, correct. How do you say it's not so expensive in Korean? Byoro an pisayo. Aju an pisayo. Chogum an pisayo. Again, this one's a little bit tough because I know an pisayo means not expensive. So byoro aju means it's really not expensive. Chogum means not a little. But for some reason my instinct is telling me number one, Byoro, but my second answer would be number three, Chogum. But I'm gonna go with number one, Byoro on Pisayo. And hopefully I don't get it wrong. Okay, good, that's correct. I feel like my chances are running low here. I'm running out of, uh, I'm getting to the point where I don't know anymore. How do you say it's already three o'clock in Korean? Bolso, bolso se shiyeo, ajik se shio, chigum se shio. Well, I don't actually know bolso, uh, bolso, but I don't think it's ajik because I think that means not yet. Chigum means now. Chigum se shio. That means it's three o'clock now. But I don't know if that means it's already three o'clock, but maybe that does. This is really hard because I think this depends on how you say it. Like if someone said, you'd say it's three o'clock now. I'll go with number one. Balsa se shio. Okay, it's number one, I was correct. I thought it was number three, but I guess I was right. Okay, how do you say my friend is is good at swimming in Korean? Che Chingu Nun Su Young U Joa Heo. That means my friend likes swimming. Che Chingu Nun Su Young U Chal Heo. That must be number two. Che Chingu Nun Su Young U Moteo doesn't know how. So number two is correct. How do you say don't touch it in Korean? Manji seo. Manji ji ma seo. Manji ji ma seo. Mal ha ji ma seo. That must be number two. And I think number three is don't say. So yes, number two is right. Um, how do you say, I think it's good in Korean? Joun got katayo, nomu joayo. Joun ke nomu manayo. This is hard because I don't think it's number three. Joun got katayo, I actually don't know what that means. But I do know nomu joayo is I like it, so I'm just gonna go with number two. It's wrong. It's number one. Should be Joun Kot Katayo. Which, yes, I did not know what that meant. 
Okay, so I got two strikes right now. Choose the correct order of frequency. Less frequent, more frequent. Okay. Now I'm gonna struggle here. Chaju, Hangsang, Gakum. Or Hangsang, Gakum, Jaju. And Gakum, Jaju, Hangsang. This is actually a little bit confusing, the question itself, but I'm gonna go with number three. Gakum, Jaju, Hangsang. Okay, that's correct. I actually couldn't remember those words if I had to use it in a sentence, but when I'm reading it, I feel like I can maybe get it. Choose the most accurate translation of we might meet again tomorrow. Uri neil dashi manalkoyo. That means we're gonna meet tomorrow. Uri neil dashi manayo. That means we'll meet tomorrow. Uri neil dashi man nal sudo isoyo. Well, I know number one means we are going to meet tomorrow. Number two, neil dashi manayo means see you tomorrow, I think. Number three, uri neil dashi manal. Pseudo isoyo. I don't know what manal pseudo isoyo means, but I think it might be the correct answer. Okay, it was the correct answer, but I kind of got that because I didn't know. I got that answer by process of elimination, so I got the correct answer, but I didn't really know what it meant. How do you say ego moeo in casual, informal language? Ego moap nidka, ego moya, and ego mo mojo. I think it's number two, ego moya. Yes. How do you say I think it's expensive in Korean? Ego chongmao pisayo. Piso mo. Satsoyo. <clears throat> Pisan kot katayo. Well, I think it's gotta be number one. No. Number one means ego chongmal pisayo. I think that's really expensive. So I guess it was the correct answer was number three. Pisan kot katayo. Pisan got katayo. Well, I got that wrong, but I think that's correct for me to get that wrong. And that's the test. The test is finished after three mistakes. So I guess you only get three strikes. And it says, I'm in the talk to me level three. So I guess I will try and do some level three work. Okay. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, now you know where I stand in terms of my Korean ability. So apparently I'm level three and I'm looking forward to starting level three. I enjoyed taking the test. It was actually pretty fun until I started to get the wrong answers. Then it wasn't really fun, but I'm happy that I know where I stand and hopefully um, I can improve and get to a higher level in the near future. Thank you so much again for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos that I've posted in the playlists and have a great day and see you next time. Bye.